Ladies and gents, this is a capture the relic game. The point of capture the relic is to capture one relic. Now, typically, I'm showing the middle of the map where the relic is, but I kind of wanted there to be some suspense because you can see the mini map right now. There's apparently a lot of things in the middle. So we have eight players. We have a game. It's starting now. And what does the relic look like? Well, the relic looks like a relic, but it is surrounded by guardians. Look at this. We've got Imperial Legionaries. We've got Imperial Centurions. We have a massive Gaia army protecting the relic. And of course, if you collect that relic, you win the game. Uh, that's that's how it works. Uh, Sally says, well, good luck getting the relic. I guess they have vision on it. Oh, it's always visible too. Well, yeah. Um, so this is a straight free-for-all. And I did not expect things to be quite this crazy. Now, in the yellow here, we've got uh, Sally, experienced community game player, playing as the Magyars. Uh, side note, this is hyper-random, by the way, so you could do start with a lot of different things. Um, start with the stable here, which is a bit uncommon, of course. Uh, this boar only has 167 food, so the amount on each resource varies as well on hyper-random. Uh, in the green, we have failed... <laughs> Okay, we have green. Uh, green is playing as the Bulgarians. Man, the last couple weeks, some of these names. What's going on with you guys? What's going on? Uh, we've got Bulgarians for green. In the teal, we have uh, Zelda Squad playing as the Goths. Good stuff. In the uh, orange, we have Slin, who is playing as the Portuguese. In the gray, we have... Man, we're missing some vowels here, surely. Bumavrana playing as the Mongols. Uh, in the blue, we have Wait. What? Playing as the Malay. In the red, we have WDW Kid playing as the Malians. And then last but not least, we have Maru. And Maru is playing as the Slavs. So again, the goal here is to collect the relic. It looks like they started with the longsword as well. The goal here is to get that relic into your monastery. Um, it seems like the middle pyramid ish thing is surrounded by amphibious terrain i believe this gross looking terrain uh, this sludge terrain is uh passable by water and so sieves that can go for strong navy here could be quite strong to escort their monk home um, but you cannot build more monasteries your monastery can also not be destroyed and this is not diplomacy so they're unable to ally each other but gray is going to say hi to blue anyways, as blue has just walked on by here. So, you know, resource-wise, we should be looking to see what's out here. Oh, no, gray. Oh, no, gray. Oh, no, gray. Gray just lost a vill. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, well, that boar's not going anywhere. <laughs> Let me tell you, that boar is staying out here. <laughs> uh, that's a little unfortunate for gray, but... um. You know, it's fine. You should have some time to build up. But they don't really have a ton of space to work with here, I'm noticing. Also, I have my pine tree mod on. You know, let's, let's make it fancier here, guys. Let's make it fancier. We got the big old tree. Whoa, see? See, they're, they're not all pine trees. Some of them are pine trees. We've got pine trees and reeds. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought that? All right. How much HP is the AI working with in the middle? Well, it looks like we've also included some animals in this. But the majority of that is the military from Grey. So this is not going to be a quick game. Like, this tells me that they are going to have to make army to deal with this. I am very curious on how active this army is. Like, does it attack if you send your horse by? Um, what, what exactly encourages these units to fight? How far do they chase? I just don't know. Very rare that you have Gaia military units. That essentially no one controls here. Now, what's funny is, uh, before hopping into this game, when I mentioned we were doing hyper random, one of my map makers and mods, Shalker, messaged me and said, It's possible with Capture the Relic on hyper random that this happens. And he sent a screenshot of pretty much this very thing. Of course, the rest of the map was different. And so I don't know if this happens every time. If this is some type of like Easter egg by Zetnus who created hyper random, but. Thought it was pretty fun. Now, it's a good point. Someone says, don't you gain Gaia things? Well, you know, there are some maps where if you scout 
they turn into your color. Yes, they turn to yours. Um, I don't think that is the case here, but no one has tested it yet. It would be pretty funny if you could actually go collect all of these. I mean, you would instantly win the game if you could do that in Dark Age. I'm going to assume that they fight back, though, and that that's not the case here. Uh, Ambrosia, thank you for the Prime. Thank you, Matt, for the four months. Thank you, Bontino, Bob Lemon. Bob Lemon says, WDW Kid will win at 3247. You heard it here first. Bob, if you call that, 50 gifted subs to the stream. I've been making some bad bets recently, but it's okay. People get the emotes. We have some fun. So again, it's not diplomacy, which we do in a lot of other community games. And Green says, I'm from Bulgaria. And Zelda Squad says, I'm just here. I just exist. I am from nowhere, for I am nothing. <laughs> and we're going to do a lot of different settings today. No, no, no. We're not going to do Capture the Relic all day. I think, I mean, we'll see how this Capture the Relic game goes. I, I think maybe what will make Capture the Relic more exciting is maps like this, where there's a little bit more of an obstacle to get to the Relic. Because I think my main issue with Capture the Relic has been that one person gets the Relic pretty fast, and then the game ends. So... This game's certainly not going to be... Th this might be the longest Capture the Relic we've had in quite a long time. Um, you could see the Ecos and Res Collected on the bottom left. So you could see that Zelda Squad and Maru and uh, Green also lacking experience, I think. Just haven't been creating as many villagers, which is going to set them back. So we do have three low elo legends in here. But the others are advancing up through the ages. So we might see Castle Age here soon. The great question. Can you convert these units in the middle? Yeah, I just don't know. I mean, I think they're automatically going to start to attack your monk. Also, it's weird how, like, some of this is this dirty sludge and some of this is beautiful, beautiful crystal clear water. It's ruining my immersion, you know? It's not very realistic. I don't know if there was, like, a sewer that busted open or something. What exactly happened over here, but... uh I know where I'm I know where I'm taking a swim and it's not anywhere near some of these areas. Yeah, maybe you could because this is a melee unit, maybe you could bring a unit in. The units start to chase and attack you. If you can outrun them, you could just take the military from from Gaia over to someone else's base and then delete your unit. That would be no, that would be next level. You just do that all game. Like, start here in Feudal Age. They start with the stable, right? So you could make a scout in theory. It says Gray is three military. Okay, so Gray has added some scouts. Let's see if Gray actually does anything with them. It could just be for scouting. It's a little weird to say it's for scouting because it is all explored, but you still don't know where people are. So you have a general idea, of course. It's interesting how the middle is always visible like this. This is not the case with Capture the Relic. I wonder if the units are always visible, and once the units are dead, if the visibility is gone. I don't think you can build on the sludge. I don't think that's possible. I'm going to remove market events, because players are going to be using the market a lot today. Seems like Zelda Squad's going to try and make it to Castle Age. First person in Castle Age is going to be Sally, though. And if you know community games, you know Sally's always been pretty experienced. But it's not really the easiest map to boom up in, I have to say. Like, there's just not a lot of space. Everywhere you go, you're going to run out of wood. Especially because some of these trees are reeds that only have 50 wood. And while the amount on each resource can be different, uh, trees are normally... With the exception of straggler trees and then reeds, trees are normally the same amount. Oh, okay. Wait, what? Getting scout rushed here by uh, Gray? Longsword in there can actually help defend that pretty nicely, though. And so Gray is just going to make some enemies over here. But again, technically, they're all enemies. First to Castle Age is going to be, wait, what? I love this name. <laughs> Blue's name is amazing. <laughs> Some, sometimes it's, it's always a concern for me when casting community games is either pronouncing someone's name or do I want to say this individual's name? 
Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Slins. First community game, maybe. Woo 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 woo. Welcome. Dies in the sludge. Yikes. Couple more vills leaving. I like the idea from orange to wall. Looks like there's going to be some openings over here, though. And oh, wow. Okay, so Sally's going galley. All right, so Sally's trying to deal with these. So you notice how they run back? I think these might be fixed into the middle. Like, they don't leave the middle. Yeah, you see that? So Sally is trying to kill enough of these. I'm, I'm curious if Sally's going to bait them to the galleys here. Hmm. Green says, I am 650 MMR T90. Okay, so 650 ELO player. Green's letting us know. As well as letting the players in this game know. We have TCs going up for Sally. Sally's clearly experienced. And Sally's out here for the victory. There's no alliances here. There's no Diplo. The goal is to get the Relic. And like, people should be able to see what's happening. As Gray and Blue still attack each other here. But like, the others can't get towards that Relic. If Sally clears up all these units. It's a lot of units to kill, of course. But so far, I like the strategy. There is a monk on the way already. You could also just add a transport ship. So your monk could just hop into the transport ship. So this may actually be faster than we were expecting. Sally going to town. Here comes a monk from red. WDW is going for war galleys, and he's adding scouts. These are the two. Sally and WDW, they played the most community games compared to the rest. And there's no real Diplo aspects here, right? So, I expect them, everyone, to just really focus on getting those relics. I am noticing Zelda squads adding a lot of eco right now. Also making some scouts. Goths with a lot of eco could be dangerous later on. So, Zelda should be in a pretty good position. But yes, we've got Light Cav. We've got War Galley. And WDW should be able to see what Sally is up to right now. And so we might just see full navy from WDW as well. It seems to be the play right now. Three docks producing ships against the three docks from Sally. So your scouts from WDW. Maybe saw that monk there. These two definitely know what's going on. This is going to be tricky, man. I'm not so sure that the monk, even if these units here die, I'm not so sure that the monk can grab this relic and get over here. Hmm. Navy count's definitely not there for WDW, though, compared to Sally. It's got to be better. Those are the two. Those are the main two. Everybody else just hanging out. Of course, blue and gray don't like each other very much. They just... Every time I look over here, there's a gray... There's a group of gray scouts. Blue might elephant rush you, gray. You got to be careful. Scouts from WDW looking around, maybe looking for a monk. Oh, finds the monk snipe. That's pretty good. There's another monk here, though. And I think Zelda sees what's happening and says, Sally, why do you do this? Sorry if this is a dumb question, but how are those ships able to sail over land? This is like a hybrid terrain. Like, there are terrains where you can use land units and you can use water units. I, you never see this because it's just ugly. But yeah, this is a hybrid terrain. The other area here is is just is water. So their land units can't pass and water units can. So there's just different terrains. It's not a stupid question. It's just how the game works. It's like the marsh terrains you might see on Golden Swamp or something. All right. So again, the goal is to capture the relic, but we've got some we've got the two top dogs fighting each other on water now. And this is pretty good for WDW right now. Now, long term, I think his sieve will struggle on water, but who knows if this is going to go long term. Now, technically, you know, Sally's done a lot of the work in this area. So if Red wants to get it, Red might want to go through here because go trying to do the same thing here would be difficult. I don't know if you can build a dock off the edge of this, but if you could, that'd be really nice. You could dock off this, I'm sure. Sally's going to regroup. Blue is angry because Gray just kept scout rushing him. And Blue is here with elephants. Hey, man, meant to make, pick Magyard. 
Legend of the Liar style. And Gray's probably like, this is like my first community game. I just didn't want to be killed first. I thought it was kill or be killed. Hmm. Again, when I look at some of the others, they've had a lot of time to relax and chill. Zelda squad specifically, dropping a castle, dropping barracks. Like, I've seen games. I actually remember a King of the Hill game with blue coffee from 2015. I was casting it with zero empires. Anyone else remember this game? Might have been 2016, but, but anyways. Gods on a water map can be really good because you could just spam halbs and poke the ships down. Albs are actually pretty good against ships, and there, a lot of this terrain land units can pass, so. And that's what had happened in that particular game. I think that was before it was... I, I think that was, like, a month after the Legend of Blue Coffee video. And I don't know if Zero Empires knew him at that time during the cast. And then, of course, there were many more videos after that. Uh, no, Zero doesn't make content anymore. As far as I know, last I heard, he's working on Age of Empires 4. So I don't know if he's still with Relic or not, but I, I caught up with him like a year or two ago. That's what he was doing, and he was pretty happy with it, so. We keep in touch on occasion. Well, Orange isn't going to be very happy. I think Orange really wanted to expand for more wood lines because let's be honest, this is one of the worst starting locations generated for a player here. And I don't know if Teal tried to castle drop Orange per se. I think Teal just wanted a good castle towards the middle. Ends up finding this. Slyn is in big trouble now. The game continues on. And players have tried to chip away at these heroes. But still going to require a whole lot more work. That is a massive galleon force, though. Well, Sally doesn't have near as many galleons, but Sally's economy is still really good and, of course, can catch up in that regard. Gray and blue, they are never going to stop fighting each other, apparently. I until, of course, maybe one player wins, and then, then the winning player can finally focus on the middle. I want to host a best of three between these two. <laughs> I think blue might win, though. I think blue's defended very nicely. Blue seems to have the better economy set up, creating lots of bills. Elephants also beat the knights in a 1v1. Sad times for Slyn. TC did go down. And WDW about to be in Imp. Now, the Malians don't get Galleon, which is sad because Malian Galleon is just fun to say. They also don't get Bracer. Um, Or wait, is it that they get Galleon and they don't get Bracer? No, I think they have Awful Navy. They might not even get Fast Fire. Actually, I think it's, it's maybe one of the worst naval civilizations in terms of tech tree. I'm sure the players would have tried to convert the heroes. And it, it, we would have, would have seen it. Uh, we didn't see that attempt at all. Wow, look at this from Sally. Sally's thinking about this already. Let me just double check the vision here. Ooh, okay. So it's, it, it's clear now, guys. Or it's starting to be anyways. This is a good tactic from WDW. You lure them towards your galleons with the light cav. And there's the monk. The monk is waiting. He's about to make a run for it. They need to make a move here, guys. I just... I wonder if the monk is going to be sought after by some of the units on the other side. This is amazing. Isn't this cool looking? Oh, God. Sally's here. Sally's got demos. Sally's got fires. Sally's got galleons. War galleys. Sorry. It's a really good mix. There's also pikes. There's also light cav. Big engagement. And now, actually, I think Sally's going to try and make a move. The pikes are there to kill the legionaries. Here come multiple monks. They, someone needs to make a move on Sally. Here comes green. 650 elo green to the middle, playing the objective, and says, not today, Sally. I'm going to kill all your monks. Green, get them. Get the monks. Salutes, please, for green. Because uh, how many times have we seen games where people just sit back, especially if they're low a score? That was sick. That changes the whole game. Now, of course, green has to, you know, navigate their way away from the heroes here. But there is another monk coming in. It's just nonstop in Capture the Relic. And green would have to go back. And that immediate follow from WDW, he gets the Relic. Okay. So now everyone will have vision on the... Um, Oh, God, purple created ships and can't even access the middle. I just realized. 
Um, they're going to get a notification on this. It, it will have made a noise for them. And so we see the units dive now. And it's, it's a big, big loss there for Sally to get in close, but kills the monk. Wow, Purple's got navy here. Purple said, um, be me, create ships, but they can't go nowhere. So yeah, unfortunately for Purple, I didn't realize this till now. Purple can't actually access the middle with navy like the others can. But Purple's really close to the relic. WDW's got a massive naval force here protecting this, which is good. And is going to run out here and try and drop a castle. But purple being on the other side actually complicates things. And then there's green, and then there's yellow. And then who knows what's going to happen with blue being out here. Blue could add a navy at any point. But blue is still so focused on gray. I don't know, did blue say something to gray? Did, did blue look at gray the long way in the lobby? I'm not sure, but they just continue to engage. Just keep an eye out for monks. There's going to be monks on the way. There's the monk on the left of your screen from WDW. Now, the heroes are still a problem for everybody else. And we have Imperial Age... No, sorry. Castle Age Goths. Spamming Huskarls into Centurions and Legionaries. Honestly, the Huskarls are going to get slaughtered there. And here come the Vils trying to drop a castle... Green is still lingering around with Light Cav. I love how green, how active Green has been. This is a questionable castle for WDW kid, but if it goes up, it'll be amazing. Sally sees the monk. Sally needs to get the monk, and Sally's gonna find the monk. Wow, this is great. Red's still probably in the best position though. Will the castle go up? Castle's at fifty percent right now. A lot of villagers are going to die. You lose this much eco, you might not be able to make much more. There's another monk here. The monk is pathing the other way. Do they see the monk? Will the units kill the monk? The monk goes down. And the castle is denied. Oh, we've got we've got elite freaking organ gun from Orange. Orange is going to push. Might run into Teal there. But Dow Castle here for WDW. I mean, they've just gone into overdrive with production, these guys, just to try and stop Red from getting this victory. I love this. I love how Green... What's Green's eco right now? Green is 42 vils. Green doesn't care. Green just keeps running towards that relic. Time and time again. That's what Capture the Relic's about. Red's castle will not go up. Surrounded on navy from both sides. I wonder if Purple's going to make a play. I guess Purple doesn't doesn't feel comfortable yet. I think purple should have a decent enough path. Wait, where's the relic? Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's right there. Okay. We've got box formation pikemen around the monk, but there's not enough pikemen and green comes in and says no. A green denies it again. Wow. So, oops, sorry. That's pretty sick. Now, is that another monk? Are there more monks in the transports? Oh, man. Oh, man, this is going to be so awkward to click the proper transport ship. Sally might get this, guys. Green's played insane to help out, but probably didn't expect that Sally was going to pick it up immediately. And where is that monastery? Monastery's all the way back here. I think Sally's going to snag it. There's no army over here. There's really nothing going on. And Green calls the GG... Because they right now, they actually can't see the transport. That's part of Capture the Relic. You'll see the monk with the relic once he hops out of the transport. So the transport's actually really nice for that reason, because it hides it. And Sally is just taking extra precaution to your dropping castles. And now they see it. Green is actually looking for it. Like, Green is really hunting this down. Uh, Orange is wondering where the relic is right now. Really curious to know the KD for Teal, because Teal has, has tossed a lot of units in towards the uh, the middle there. Here comes Green again? <laughs> and Green says, you're Lolo? <laughs> and the Monks actually hops into the castle, which you could do as well, and the game ends. That was a good game. That was a really good game. Um, the, the start was interesting. I was curious to see what the players were going to do here. Like, were they going to... How, how are they going to manage all the military units in the middle? And Sally was the first one to really show people, yeah, you can take care of these things. Navy was really smart. Um, obviously, Red started doing that as well. And 
you kind of in, in a king of the hill game sometimes i say if you're the first one to go to the middle that can be bad for you in this case i wonder if it was bad for red that red was the first one to snag the relic because snagging that relic ended up putting a lot of pressure on him and you know, it was like three or four times he ended up taking pretty bad engagements because everyone came in but props to sally i mean we knew sally was going to be an experienced player here sally played played pretty well I do feel like there were only four players that actually played for the Relic, though. Um, you know, it's it's tough because, like, Purple... Purple was actually one of those players who played for the Relic. Purple's position, I didn't realize, was actually horrible to be able to use the Navy like everyone else's because the ships were, were locked off. But, you know, Blue and Gray, it definitely just were fighting a bit of a 1v1. Didn't see much of an attempt towards the middle. That could have been because they were so close and they felt like it was smart to to deal with the the threat there um orange I, again i think another unfortunate position hyper random didn't help orange all that much i uh, remember orange got castle dropped by teal so maybe again conflict because of their starting position but green was just like regardless of what else was happening was running in with the light cav sniped multiple monks there and made this game more competitive a uh, good game um, and again, I don't know if Hyper Random gives us this every time, but I think if we do Capture the Relic more, I like maps where there's what I could describe as resistance for the middle, right? Something that makes it difficult to get to the middle, adding a little bit more of a challenge is, is always good. And also, I really like how much vision there is around the middle. Now, again, I don't know if that's because of the units, but I don't think it is. Maybe that's a Hyper Random thing because... Usually, the vision around the relic is very minimal. I like all this vision here so players can send in units knowing there's a monk there instead of finding out after the monk has already picked up the relic. So, um, yeah, maybe it's just the terrain, but uh, I think we should figure it out at some point and see what happens. But GG, everyone. Uh, obviously, on YouTube, if you enjoyed this Capture the Relic game, let me know. Let me know who your favorite player was here. Uh, maybe your favorite play. I don't know if it's... Something you paid that close attention to, but a good game. I love my Capture the Relic. Capture the Relic is underrated.